On today's Visual Studio Toolbox, Aaron and Katie are going to show us the great resources available through Visual Studio subscriptions. Hi, welcome to Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Robert Green, and joining me today are Aaron Mast and Katie Bushlin. Hey, guys. Hey, thanks for having us. Hey welcome there. to the show. Um, you guys are program managers in Visual Studio land, and you're joining us today to talk about Visual Studio subscriptions, which I think are an underappreciated and underutilized resource. Uh, as we're going to see, you, a lot of people watching probably have one, and there's great resources in there. Um, but if people don't know that they have one and what's in there, then they can't really make use of it. So we're going to clear up a lot of confusion and point people to some really nice resources that they probably already have access to. Sound good? Sounds great. Uh, all right. Great. So Katie, why don't you kick it off and tell us what is a Visual Studio subscription? Awesome. Yeah. So Visual Studio subscriptions uh, a couple years ago was actually renamed. Um, it was MSDN subscription. And so a lot of you may be sitting there saying, you know, I don't have one of these Visual Studio subscription things, um, but I do have an MSDN subscription. So it actually is the same thing. Um, you would have just been rolled over into your subscriptions program when the rebranding happened. And it basically gives you access to almost anything that Microsoft has released in the past for software downloads, depending on your subscription level. Um, we still have MS-DOS, if for some crazy reason that you want to go and grab a download of MS-DOS. Um, but you also have a whole bunch of other learning and professional development benefits. You have access to Azure through your subscription. So depending on what subscription you have, you can get $150 in a monthly credit towards Azure. Um, we have Pluralsight training, but it really is a huge collection of different pieces of software and training material that you get with your subscription. Okay, so if I had an MSDN subscription, it, it's basically renamed and the uh, things in it shift around from time to time. Um, so that would be pretty obvious. Um, how do I know, uh, so let's say I get Visual Studio from uh, my employer, I may or may not have a subscription. How do I know? Yeah, the easiest way to check is just go to my.visualstudio.com. And if you have a subscription, once you log in, you'll either be shown all of the benefits and everything that comes along with your subscription, as long as what, what level you get as well. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, you'll be given a little message saying you don't have one and prompted to either register one that you previously purchased or purchase one or sign up for one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So do you want to show us what it looks like? Yeah, for sure. All right. So once you come into the portal, um, you'll see at the top here what subscription you're, you're actually signed in with. So you'll see I'm with a Visual Studio Enterprise with GitHub. We have a featured benefit here, and we're always changing what we're actually featuring and what benefits are offered. So it is good habit to come in here and check frequently to see uh, what's changed, what's been added. Um, we do put a little new tag on the new ones uh, so that you will see easily what's been added since the last time you were in. Um, you can toggle here between tools, your professional development, and the other cool thing is we have some support ones here too. Um, so if you're stuck and you're coding something and you really need some one-on-one -on -one help, we have uh, four, up to four technical support instances where you can actually get that hands-on support um, with someone who is hopefully an expert and can help you get unblocked there. So that's a really cool one to check out. Um, for professional development, you know when you're at home right now, we're all stuck at home quarantined, everyone's trying to learn new skills. We have Pluralsight, LinkedIn Learning, which are really great ones, as well as Data Camp. Uh, and these ones, you know, six months, six months, three months. I wouldn't recommend activating them all on the same day, kind of spread them out so you can <laughs> extend your learning. Um, hopefully, we're not in quarantine for the next year, but um, it's, yeah, a good thing to stretch out. And who's my admin if I contact my admin? So if you contact your admin here, it opens up a web form and you can type a message to your admin. Um, so if you know you have a question, you have a professional and you want to get enterprise, for example, um, or someone in your company is trying to figure out how the heck they find a subscription, yeah. they can click that button and send a web form to their admin. Okay. And so the subscription dropdown shows me which one I have, but it also shows me what other ones there might be. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, so most people will probably only have one. You may have two if you've signed up for Dev Essentials as well. Um, and Dev Essentials is a free program, so I would recommend you take advantage of that one if you you know have Visual Studio standalone and you don't have a subscription yet. Right. This one gives 
you kind of an intro to a bunch of those benefits. So if you have standalone, you can then upgrade to a subscription? You can join the Dev Essentials program. Right. Um, okay. which it's not a full subscription uh, like the Visual Studio Professional subscription, but it does come with one month Pluralsight, two months of Data Camp, um, one month of LinkedIn, as well as one of the other really cool things is the, sorry, um, the Azure $200 credit as well. Um, so okay. it's not a monthly credit like the paid ones, but it does give you enough to get your feet wet and start playing around in Azure. Got it. Yeah, and then we have the download section here. Um, so you can come into here and like I said, you can search for your Windows DOS if you want. Um, depending on your subscription level, you will see different uh, software that is available for download. Mm -hmm. But we actually have a list right here where you can download an Excel and actually go through and look for a specific product if you're not seeing it to see if it does come with your subscription level or not. Got it. It's a really good way to look at the differentiation between uh, subscription levels for downloads. So the best way to look at differentiation between subscription levels uh, for benefits is actually on visualstudio.com, which I think is worth pointing out. There's a good uh, tool on there that'll show you the difference between, oh, Katie looks like she's bringing it up right here. Okay. Yeah, so visualstudio.com, um, sorry, visualstudio.microsoft.com slash vs slash benefits. Mm -hmm. You can toggle the drop down here between subscription levels to see what exactly comes with each level. I see. And then toggle between the different categories here. Very cool. So it's a great way if you're trying to decide which one would work best for you. So we talked about how I might already have a subscription through my employer. Uh, what are some of the other ways I can get a subscription? So the best way to see what your options are at any given time is to go to visualstudio.com to learn more. Uh, this is one of the pages you'll you'll find there on visualstudio.com that shows some of the different options. Uh, we're looking at professional right now. This first column where it says monthly subscription, this is where you can license the IDE from month to month. Uh, if you click on by professional there, it'll take you to Azure and you'll uh, go through an Azure flow to essentially rent the IDE from month to month and also some Azure DevOps access. Uh, then there's the standard subscription that comes with much more of the benefits that Katie was showing on the portal earlier. Uh, and you can basically, if you buy professional there, you'll be sent to uh, uh, the Microsoft store uh, to purchase a license uh, you know, through their storefront. Uh, those are the two best ways if you're a consumer that's interested in getting a subscription, you can go and grab those. If you're at a company that assigns out subscriptions, then uh, you can work with your administrator uh, through the, the button that we talked about earlier or, uh, or ask around, find people that have a subscription in your company, learn more. Uh, what we see in our data is that there are a lot of customers that uh, have subscriptions that aren't being assigned out, so it's very likely. Uh, that you may be in a situation where there's a subscription that's available. Just They just need to know that you're interested. And so yeah. it's worth looking into it. Cool. Uh, and one of the other important things I'll note, because I have heard a little bit of customer confusion over this, um, is just clarifying that Visual Studio Professional subscription comes with the professional version of the IDE. So when you're looking at subscriptions to get, it's also important to look at the IDE and compare the features to make sure that you're getting the features in the IDE that you're looking for, yep. um, be it professional or enterprise. Right. Okay. So if people have general questions about what's in the subscriptions um, or uh, any any questions about this where can they is there a, a someone they can ask at microsoft is there a help page or a help alias or anything yeah visualstudio.microsoft.com has a ton of information on it um, about subscriptions so that's probably the best place to start there's all sorts okay. of comparisons there that you can use, um, be it comparisons for the IDE itself or the subscription levels or the pricing. Um, if you're still stuck after that, you can find the support information on there and call our support team for help as well. Okay, cool. Um, and then, of course, Aaron mentioned that you know your company may have some available. For that one, our support team, of course, can't uh, make your admin assign you a subscription. <laughs> but if you know someone in your company that has it, you know, ask them to use that contact my admin button right. that we saw earlier and bug the admin on your behalf. But that's, that's probably, probably the, the easiest good, way. Yeah, that's probably a good place to start, right? In your yeah. company, find out if you have a subscription and then turn it on. 
All right, so one more thing. We have a newsletter that goes out generally on about a monthly cadence that lets you know of any new benefits have been added, anything cool that we want to share with you. So if you're already a subscriber, make sure to go to your profile and opt in to get that newsletter if you're not already. Cool. So where can people go to learn more about this? There's a lot of cool stuff here that we've seen. Is there a central place people can go? Yep, you can check out aka.ms slash VS subs toolbox for more information. Awesome. So we've seen a lot of great stuff here, a lot of great resources. Highly encourage everybody to go check this out and take advantage of this great stuff. Thanks so much for coming on and showing this to us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks. And we will see you next time on Visual Studio Toolbox. Thank you.